No, not at all. In fact, North Carolina has been at the center of lawsuits at the state, the federal level, even the U.S. Supreme Court. But those lawsuits, they're over. And so is this process, which means now we have new maps for the next decade. Redistricting happening now because of the census, which of course comes out every 10 years with new data on the population. North Carolina's population is growing. Plus, it's becoming more urban and less rural. It's a very purple state, pretty even with Republican and Democratic voters. But when it comes to congressmen, most of the last decade, the split was 10 Republicans and three Democrats. That changed two years ago to eight and five after a court threw out the old maps and ruled they unfairly tipped the scales to presuppose an outcome by splitting groups of Democratic voters or clumping them all together. Democrats, by the way, have been accused of doing this in other states, too. This time around, NCGOP leaders holding some in-person public meetings and live streaming the physical drawing of the maps. But over the past few weeks, the result is this. Outside analysts predicting it will give Republicans up to an 11-3 advantage. Democrats today live it at the process and the outcome. We voluntarily chose to do it out in public and not use election data even though the law doesn't require us to do that. We chose to do that because that's the right thing to do. We did that. This body did that. You can still draw maps that have a Republican advantage without presenting this type of advantage, which is going to make the most considerate of us raise an eyebrow in concern. So you saw that map. It's got a lot of colors, not a very evenly divided pie chart. Coming up tonight on the News at 6, we're going to dig into those lines and show you what's actually happening in Wake County that isn't happening any other place and what the governor, Democrat Roy Cooper, could or maybe couldn't do about this. Jonah Campbell, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.